If you have a blog on Squarespace, this plugin is a must have. In this video, I'll be talking about a new plugin called Section Loader Supreme. I'll show you how I use the plugin and I'll also share a discount code with you. So Section Loader Supreme is perfect for any time you find yourself repeating information across your website. It works on both pages and blog posts, and I use it mostly across blog posts. So if you have newsletter signups that you embed in the middle of blog posts over and over again, you either have to start with the same blog post template or rebuild that section every single time. And if you change that newsletter signup, if you change your lead magnet, you have to hunt down all of those pieces and rebuild them. So here's an example from my friend Lex at Super Easy Digital. Lex was actually the muse for this plugin. She was working with me one day and said, I'm so tired of having to manually add my newsletter block over and over again throughout my blog posts. And I also have other things that I drop in over and over again. How can we make this easier? So what we did was we created a plugin that lets Lex now have a referral toolkit program that she can share across blog posts or a newsletter block that she can share across blog posts and she just has to build it once. So you build it once and you can drop it in across blog posts and you never have to hunt it down again if you want to make updates. You just update it in one place and it changes it everywhere else on your website. So Section Loader Supreme takes away the hassle. So you create your section once and then you can embed it wherever you want. So you might be wondering why would you use this instead of saved sections in Squarespace 7.1? Because with Section Loader Supreme, you can actually use saved sections in blog posts. Plus when you update your information in one place, it updates it everywhere you've used that section. No more looking for every time you've pitched a product, added a lead magnet, this plugin will save you so much time. Now, if you are already sold, you can use coupon code CP10 to save 10% off the plugin at christyprice.link slash SLS. This will take you to the Section Loader Supreme sales page on Will Meyer's website, and you can use the coupon code there. Now, if you have any issues at all with the plugin after purchase, you can submit a support ticket through Will's website, and he will get you fixed right up. Now the first section I'm loading is this higher ticket item and I wanted to do something fun to call attention to it. So I've built it in Fluid Engine. I'm using two scrolling blocks, an image block and a text block with a button. And you'll see here, it looks a little different uh, than when it's embedded in my blog because in my blog, I have a certain page width set. So whenever I build this section originally, I actually go ahead and embed it in a blog post and test it out to make sure it looks good there with that particular width. So I played around with this one for a bit and this was the layout that looked best when it was embedded in my blog. So if we take a look inside the blog post, you'll see it embedded here. And you'll also notice that there's some styling. So there is a padding around the section and also a border that I've added to match my brand. Will gives us an extra step to easily add some padding and borders to the section once it's embedded and it looks fantastic. So on the installation page, when you purchase the plugin, you'll be able to do this and then just copy it to your custom CSS and have your own padding and borders that match your brand. Now the next snippet I use it for is a really simple block to showcase my digital checklist. This one is just text and I used a background color again to set it off from the blog post so it stands out a bit. And it's gonna take on that same styling with the padding and border that we set up before. So those styles apply to all of the sections that we're loading as well. And let me show you what this looks like in a blog post. So you can see it here and it has that same padding and border. And if they click on the text link, it takes them to the page that I want them to see. 
Finally, I'm getting ready to do a flash sale for my Sway template as soon as I finish converting it to Fluid Engine. So I'm going to set up a spotlight section that I can load into blog post and then change it out to highlight another offer after the flash sale is over. So this will be a special section that I use over and over to highlight a specific offer. And if I don't have an offer at the time, I can just use a newsletter block there. So as I'm thinking about where to embed these sections in my blog, I'm also thinking about the type of audience that would be reading that particular post. So for the first two sections I showed you, I'll be embedding those in posts that web designers might be interested in. So my behind the scenes posts or the posts where I talk about client gifts. I want to be sure that those have the right audience. For the Squarespace template flash sale, I'll be embedding that in posts where DIYers might be hanging out. And when the flash sale is over, I'll swap it to another offer for DIYers, or as I mentioned, an option to sign up for my newsletter. And again, you can find this plugin at christyprice.link slash SLS. I'll drop the link below and use coupon code CP10 to save 10% off. If you are a Squarespace web designer who wants to use this for your clients, there is a business license option available. Otherwise, if you will just be using this on your own website, the personal license is a perfect fit for you. I hope that you found this helpful and I wish you all the best with your website. Happy blogging!